couple of things that I want to go over in the JD versus AH situation. I particularly want to touch on media coverage of this because in case you didn't know, a lot of people are starting to chime in, particularly blue check marks and game journalists for some reason. And of course, naturally, as you would suspect, they are taking Team Herd all the way. I'm sure that shocks nobody. I was just blocked by a blue check mark, actually. Uh, this person, Jita Jackson, had a lengthy, lengthy Twitter thread, pretty much calling Johnny Depp a monster. So that's that's coming. I told you they're gonna they're gonna push hard. Right now, lately the trend has been to kind of go pro Depp, and that's why he was on the stand. As soon as she takes the stand, expect a big anti-Depp push to start because they're not going to let this fly. Okay, they're not going to be cool with a guy getting uncanceled. They're going to do their best to make sure that he stays canceled and destroyed because that's, that's what they do. They like to see men burn, and Johnny Depp is going to be their target real soon. It was already a thing before. They've switched a little bit because, well, they want those clicks, but fully expect everybody to turn on him the moment Heard takes the stand. They're already doing it. It's already starting. So just just be aware. The anti-Depp stuff is going to get real hot real fast, and it's going to be funny because just from watching this movement and being a part of it for a while now, I can tell you the majority of justice for JD is women, which is pretty cool to see. A lot of women on his side. How they're going to handle that? Well, of course, they're victims of eternal misogyny. They have internalized misogyny and sexism. I guarantee you, you'll see it soon. Also, uh, this woman right here uh, put a video up. Her name is Molly, and she's got a YouTube channel, and she addressed this. So this woman right here, this Christina Taft, is trying to make it look like this woman is the one putting the flyers on cars. She had a nice four-minute video explaining what happened. Uh, She seems to be on Johnny Depp's side. So if she got any flack for this, I apologize Uh, It was not my intention. I was assuming that uh, something was going on. I don't know. It seems like this woman is not the one who did that, though. So I just wanted to say, just based on watching her little response video, I don't think she did this. Uh, So I just wanted to put that out there. So just leave this woman alone. I don't think she did it. The Flyers were there, though, uh, which is crazy because if there is a connection to anybody touching Amber Heard and her team in any way. I believe this could cause a mistrial. I'm not a lawyer, though, so I don't know. Hopefully they get some security and make sure nobody's putting anything on any cars again. So hopefully that'll get fixed. Now, the most interesting stuff that's happened over the past day, I don't know if anybody else caught this, but uh, Melania, a makeup brand, that was a formerly, I think, attached to Amber Heard or something. Uh, they're not very happy about their brand being used to defend Amber Heard. And in fact, they have come out and clapped back on her in this TikTok video. I'm not sure I can play. I can play at least without the music. I, I can't play the music because it's probably copyright, but I'll blow this up and you can see what they did. Let's go ahead and just cut the music out but you can see what they did for their entire relationship apparently they she called she carried that in her purse and as you can see here they're going to show this and they they show you like this is melania cosmetics and they debunk it real quick because it was released in 2017 Uh, they weren't together in 2017 So I thought that was funny. 
them clapping back at Amber Heard, <laughs> which is awesome. Awesome to see. I got a real kick out of that. Uh, this was the big, big news yesterday, and it's quite hilarious. So I love that this brand is so self-aware that being attached to her in any way is incredibly toxic, and they also called out a lie. Uh, this is not what she was carrying in her purse the entire relationship. Uh, wrong brand. So just another lie from Team Herd. Busted, which is great. And then, of course, uh, if you attempt to try to debunk any of these lies, uh, you're, of course, going to get attacked. A makeup brand is trying to profit off of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case. No, uh, they were debunking a lie from Team Herd, and they don't want to be associated with a toxic brand that is going to take anything down with them. They don't want that. So they issued a correction. Hey, don't use our brand in your in your shitty defense, which I thought was awesome. I got another clip I want to show for you as well, uh, just to kind of show how mean she can be. Uh, this is a clip that I took from Depp's time on the stand where he recalls when he got hit with the restraining order from Heard. Uh, she chose to do it during the premiere of a movie, which was kind of messed up. Like that, this is the t- okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it right when you're uh, Alice in Wonderland two movie. It's the theaters when you would be enjoying the premiere. Uh, I'm going to serve this to you and let you know that I'm gonna try to take down your career. Watch this clip. End of your relationship. How was Miss Heard's relationship with your children? Non-existent. They, my children. My kids are far um, more intelligent than I am, and they they broke. They they wouldn't be around Miss Heard any. They refused to be around her <clears throat> anymore. They didn't like. Uh, the way she uh, treated me, which was written in a, 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 a very elegant letter by my daughter, actually, to uh, <clears throat> to Miss Hurd. I don't know if that's in evidence, but I remember the uh, my daughter sent a text to Miss Hurd. Objection, Your Honor. Just hearsay. It's one thing for the witness to tell his story. It's another thing for him to tell other people's stories. All right. You can, move, can on. move on. Okay. I'm sorry. I read the, I read the email. Yeah, I understand. Next question. Um, when did you learn that Ms. Hurd had filed for divorce? Well, it was let's see. Betty Sue was the 20th. That night I spoke to her about the divorce. 21st was the um, kicker. I believe it was on the 23rd and I had already left town for New York to prepare for the tour. Did Miss Heard know that you were out of town at that time? I don't know. When did you learn that Miss Heard had made domestic abuse allegations against you? Um, the 27th of May, which is in fact my daughter's birthday, um, I saw that she had gone to a court, it was, I don't know, some court, and there were paparazzi everywhere, and her, and a um, <clears throat> brown mark on her face. Um, and it was also happened to be the day that Charlie and the, no, Alice in Wonderland 2, um, to the looking glass was opening. And that's the day that she chose to uh, uh, 
get the uh, go go to the courthouse and get a TRO, uh, temporary restraining order against me. But I was in Europe already at that point. Mr. Depp, I'd like to show you what's been marked as Plaintiff's Exhibit 487. And just for the record, this is a very long document, um, and we will be showing pages 470, or excuse me, uh, 492 through 494. That's pretty much it. One thing I did want to touch on that happened in the trial yesterday when they were trying, when Rottenborn was trying his best to get under Depp's skin. They played that audio recording of him at a really low point, and he actually cried on the stand a little bit. Imagine being a victim and going through the abuse again like this. A lot of men go through this, and they really just don't get any any do, which is one of the reasons why I'm, uh, I'm strong on supporting Johnny Depp because men can be victims too. Don't forget that. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.